My name is Adele Young. I am from Trinidad and Tobago and I just completed my MSc in Water Science and Engineering with a specialization in Hydraulic Engineering and River Basin Development. I actually heard of IHG some time ago. I, was, I really wanted to specialize in my field and I knew they specialized in water studies. So online I would have seen the type of programs they had, but unfortunately I would not have been able to apply because I didn't have the resources or the money to, uh, to come to the institute. And um, I thought maybe I could do a short course. So I went back to the website and I looked at the short courses and during that experience I realized that there was the, the, the fellowship and the I thought, okay, this is a perfect opportunity to, to actually go there and do what I wanted to do for such a long time. So within a one month period, I actually applied and I submitted my application and I was successful. At the, the time that I applied to do this course, I was um, working in a consultancy back home and many of my projects were based on land use development, uh, looking at spot irregularization. And in particular, we looked at infrastructure design and um, I saw that there was really a need to um, you know, go into more detail and develop aspects of that. Uh, for example, looking at flood risk assessments, um, looking at drainage design, which is one of the reasons why I, went in, I chose this topic of hydraulic engineering and river basin development. And especially in the Caribbean, where um, more and more we're seeing that there's like a lack of preparedness and resilience towards um, extreme events. I think um, this field of study really opens up a lot of opportunities and can really bring back much needed skill to the to the Caribbean. What can, what can I bring to this field? But it's not necessarily about coming up with something, as I said, groundbreaking, but rather using what is already existing to come up with something that is that is new. So I think I've while I've been here, I've been exposed to so many different things and you knowing it's not only from like a technical point of view, but you have so many other aspects to consider, whether it be social, environmental, or whatnot. So really just adapt to your surroundings. And um, I can get an example of that really is, I think, um, crowdsourcing of data, which has, you know, existed for so many years. In terms of like floods or disasters, people are always taking pictures of the impacts of, of floods, but now they're realizing you can actually use this data towards um, like validating and calibrating models. So you can actually just adapt to it. <laughs> adapt what you already have and evolve it into something new and innovative. I mean, most of my experiences have been in the Caribbean, so I can't speak about other countries or even other six countries. But I think, personally, there's a gap between research and industry. So for example, you have people doing research, you have people in the industry doing their jobs. <laughs> But there is no interlinkage, there's no transfer of skills in that respect. And being here, I've really been exposed to a strong research base and a strong knowledge base. And I think that really needs to be developed. So how I would like to implement these skills is really bridging that gap, um, using what technology and what ideas and approaches are, have been successful in other countries and trying to translate it and really just downscale it to um, a Caribbean perspective. So I always tell people, if you want to hear God laugh, you tell him your plans. Because <laughs> everything is just really so unpredictable and you just don't know what will happen. But from a professional point of view, I think um, after the um, COP23 in Bonn last year, which was hosted by Fiji, I think there's a lot of um, much needed impact and focus that's been put on since and, in, and with the most recent um, disasters in the Eastern Caribbean. I think there's a lot more focus on the Caribbean islands and for the future I really hope to just be a part of that momentum and contribute in whatever way that I can.